Hello everyone, what's up? This is Pawn from Coding Solutions. Welcome to our sixth basic programming tutorial. In this video, I will be creating a C program to find the quotient and remainder of two integers entered by the user. So, simply just start off the coding, add a new empty file, and give the name as program 6.c. Okay. So now our file has been created. So simply just proceed with the already knowing convention C program to find OTI quotient and remainder of two integers. Well, this program can be computed in two ways using three variables and using two variables. Initially, I will be using three variables, and after that, I will be just making changes in the same code to do the same program by using the two variables okay so let's start off with our coding hash include stdio.h int main and then define int dividend divisor quotient and remainder okay. so just give a message to the user enter dividend okay. use the scanf library function scanf percentile d and dividend okay. next just print f enter divisor and simply use a scan f percentile d comma and divisor so quotient can be calculated by simply q control space quotient equals dividend divided by divisor okay and remainder will be calculated as dividend modulus divisor okay. so just give the output to the user printf quotient is percentile d backslash n and give the name of the quotient Printf remainder is percentile d backslash n remainder. Okay. And last statement return zero. So this is the code and in this we have used three variables to display the output and let me use first of all run this program for you all so but before running we need to remove that file and again build and run we have to build it again enter dividend 5 25 okay and quotient enter divisor 0 quotient is 0 
oops there is something wrong about it let me run this again for you and 25 5 okay so quotient is 5 and the remainder is 0 so what happened is how quotient is calculated when 25 is divided by 5 it gets 5 5 times 25 is divided by 5 5 times and when the 25 is divided by, by 5 the remainder is 0 so the process is done and the execution time has been given to you press any key to continue so the logic behind this program is this program takes the two integers dividend and divisor from the user and is stored it in the variables dividend and divisor and then the quotient and the remainder is calculated and is stored in a variable quotient and remainder operator this divide is used for calculation of quotient and modulus operator this is used for calculating the remainder okay so what happened is when the quotient and remainder is calculated the printf function is used to display the output and the program gets terminated okay so this is how we have used this apart from this logic we can also create this program by using only two variables so for that we have to make few changes so instead of calculating instead of using quotient and remainder as another variable we can just remove it and simply use two variables dividend and divisor so the statement which has been used here will be used in directly inside the printf function as just remove this first okay in the printf function quotient is backslash n we just need to write dividend upon divisor okay and in place of remainder we just need to write dividend modulus divisor So instead of using another two variables, we have got this. So let me again build and run this program for you all. Enter 25 and divide 5. Quotient is 5 and the remainder is 0. Again, the output is the same. The program works. So initially, I have used four, four variables to calculate these. And after that, I have just simply used these two variables. Output of the program is same in both the cases but in the later only two variables is used instead of four variables so this was all about a program which is used to find the quotient and remainder of two integers hope you have liked it if any query do comment below and thank you so much have a nice day